Richard Weaver grew up in the coin business and began his full-time career in numismatics in 1983. As president of Delaware Valley Rare Coin Company, he is well known for his expertise in United States coinage and bullion items from around the world. Weaver is a leader in combating counterfeits in the marketplace and is a member of the board of the Anti-Counterfeiting Educational Foundation. He has diligently served at the Professional Numismatist Guild as a member of the board and then as vice president. And two days ago, he was selected as the new PNG president. Richard? I want to thank the ANA for having us here today. I think it's a great event to get everybody together, get some thoughts and feelings out there. Um, at our board meeting Thursday, uh, Sunday night, I asked the fellow board members, what do you see for the future of our hobby? What do you see out there? Where do you think we're going? Because when I come here, I, I represent the board and the PNG, not just myself, my own thoughts. Um, we had a rather long conversation that went in circles. You know, we all went back to growing up as kids. Most of us started by going through our parents, our grandparents change. We had our Blue Whitman folders and we popped the coins in there. You know, if we were lucky, we found the good coins. You know, we found better coins, we traded, we bought, we sold. But we had our hands on physical coinage. Today, if you get the children, the younger kids, and even though I personally don't feel they're the answer for the future. It's not going to hurt, but they don't know physical coinage. We would go to the schools, the elementary schools in our area. We'd have a display set out. We'd have different you know, uh, tasks for the children to do, from state quarter maps, find the state quarters. It helped them. Geography, they didn't know where half the states were in the first grade. They got the state quarters, and they did the search. We had them design their own coins, just simple things like a blank piece of paper with a circle on the front and the back. Draw us a coin design. Tell us what you think. They did it. They loved it. We put coin displays out for all the different coins, you know, the United States coins from early colonials up to date, shipwreck coins. They all found it fascinating. The school stopped it after two years because it interrupted their curriculum. The children don't get exposed to the physical coinage it makes it harder for them to collect. That being said, that's down the road. It's just to get an interest. We feel that we need to appeal more towards the 30-some-year-olds. How do we get there? We advertise in Coin World, Numismatic News. Great for current collectors. How do we reach outside that box? This is what we have to do to expand our collector base. If we keep preaching to the same choir, we're not going to expand. We need to expand. We need to get out there. We need to come up with a system to get outside what has been done for years and years because we just don't feel it's working. You know, you have the 30-somethings that might have the income. Unfortunately, a lot of those bought sports cards. They look at them today and they say, well, geez, that, that didn't turn out too good. You know, I put all this money into my sports card collection. It has little or no worth. Well, if you would have done it with coins, you would have had something. You might have only had a nickel to spend, a dime to spend. You might have had silver content or gold content. You would have had something. It would have gone further, hopefully. Uh, w one of the other things that we talked about is the legacy of coins. It's the responsibility of us in the business to keep the future of coins going. How do we do that? We need to preserve it. We need to get it out there to put these fine examples forward putting the better coins into better collections, the higher grade coins. Get them out there, get the good people in it. You, know, you can see that you can make money, which is you know, some of the end game on a lot of people, unfortunately. I personally, I still like the history of the coins. You know, but they get out there, the valuable coins that we're seeing are holding their value, they're out there. So maybe when you have your clients, once they get in, you, you try to get them into something better, a higher quality coin. You know, I always used to tell guys when I first got in this business that a VG Indian penny is always going to be a VG Indian penny. It, it might be a good coin. You might have plugged it in your book. But now, you know, put together a nice typeset. Expand your horizons. Let's keep the industry going. Let's reach out and try to figure out a way to get outside the box. Thank you.